Okay, this is the gravity entropy theory. I'm Dr. Alan Klein, and I'm here to discuss my gravity entropy theory. The gravity entropy theory states that on a size scale, from molecules to stars, that gravity is the dominant attractive force, and entropy is a repulsive force that, that opposes gravity. The textbook definitions of entropy are correct. They state that entropy uh, is a scalar, but in actuality, I'm postulating that entropy is actually a vector. So it uh, has a magnitude and a direction. Okay, and the direction of the entropy vector is opposite that of gravity. Entropy governs phenomena such as temperature, pressure, and chemical concentration. Entropy is a repulsive force putting ma pushing matter and energy outward from areas of greater temperature to areas of lesser temperature, greater pressure toward lesser pressure, and greater chemical concentration or lesser chemical concentration toward equilibrium. Gravity, on the other hand, pulls matter inward toward the center of mass, increasing temperature and pressure. Next slide. The gravity equation. Uh, gravity is equal to, the force of gravity is equal to uh, G times M1, M2 divided by R squared, where F is the force uh, due to gravity, G is the gravitational constant, uh, M1 is the first mass, M2 is the second mass, and R is the distance between the masses. This means that the force of gravity is uh, directly proportional to the first mass times the second mass, and and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the masses. Gravity pulls matter inward toward the center of mass uh, from areas of uh, lesser pressure to greater pressure, from lesser temperature to greater pressure at the center, and from uh, less mass concentration, greater mass concentration like at the center of the Earth. Next slide. Uh, the entropy equation. Uh, in in chemistry, uh, entropy is represented by the uh, uh, capital letter S, and it, it is a, a thermodynamic function uh, described by the randomness or disorder in the system. Uh, even the Ameri American Heritage Dictionary also describes entropy as a measure of the uh, disorder or randomness in, in a closed system. I find that uh, delta S is equal to delta Q over T, where uh, uh, delta S is the change in entropy, is equal to the change in heat in the system, divided by the uh, absolute temperature in uh, Kelvin. Let me see here. Next slide. Entropy is a vector. It's a force. The textbook definition uh, equation for entropy are correct. They are just incomplete. Entropy uh, is defined as a scale or a number uh, which uh, appears to be uh, always increasing. Uh, thus, according to uh, my theory, uh, entropy is a vector. Entropy is a force. It has a magnitude and a direction, and the direction uh, uh, is uh, the opposite of gravity. Uh, uh, gravity, which pulls matter inward, entropy pushes it outward. Uh, gravity is a attractive force pulling matter toward the center of mass, whereas entropy is a repulsive force pushing matter and energy outward toward equilibrium, like throughout the world. Uh, gravity opposes entropy. Well, we see this uh, gravity and entropy are opposing forces. There is a balance in nature, and this, uh, for every attractive force, there is a repulsive force that tends to balance it. However, uh, there, these forces uh, 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 are not necessarily exactly equal. Okay, so entropy may not be exactly equal to uh, gravity at any instant. The balance between entropy and gravity is a static, not a static balance, it's a dynamic balance. Uh, matter and energy are constantly changing, they're constantly moving. Here we see. Uh, this uh, <clears throat> uh, 
uh, an example. Uh, it starts with evaporation. It, it, uh, example is the water cycle. Uh, evaporation causes uh, causes uh, 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 water to uh, uh, move from area of greater pressure to lesser pressure in the uh, upper atmosphere. That's entropy. Then we see uh, it condenses and it forms into precipitation, which is gravity pulling it back downward, and it flows into uh, uh, rivers and streams, which again, uh, gravity pulls it farther downward toward the center of the earth, and it, here we see it, uh, it goes back into the lake or, or the ocean, and the cycle starts all over again. Entropy is uh, an equilibrium force. An example of entropy is an equilibrium force. Uh, it is letting air out of a tire, uh, if it, such as by a puncture. Uh, the tire pressure is greater inside the tire. It goes to the atmosphere, which is less, and toward until it, uh, it equalizes, and all the, uh, uh, the pressure comes out, and it's all uh, fairly equal in the atmosphere. Gravity uh, pulls. Uh, air pressure from the great upper atmosphere downward from areas of lesser pressure to greater pressure toward the center of the Earth, whereas entropy is pushing the air uh, outward from uh, greater pressure to lesser pressure in the upper atmosphere. Another example is a chemical mixture, uh, where a chemical two chemicals are mixed, and then uh, the uh, con chemical concentration uh, will quickly go from uh, areas of greater concentration to areas of lesser concentration toward equilibrium where they'll be roughly equal throughout the system. Next slide. Uh, the background uh, microwave radiation. Uh, the primary source of the micro uh, radiation is the stars. Uh, the entropy is an equilibrium force that causes this radiation to spread throughout space. Uh, thus, the cosmic background radiation is not due to a fictitious Big Bang. I discussed this in my cumulative field theory. The true source of the cosmic radiation uh, is the stars, which are throughout space, and also the dark matter again, which is throughout space. And then uh, uh, entropy causes the radiation and the, the temperature to go from greater temperature, like near the, the stars and planets, to lesser temperature in space toward equilibrium so that the temperature will be roughly evenly distributed throughout space. Dr. Klein, that's it.